Today, we have the 2022 BMW X5. Can you afford it? And more importantly, should you buy it? Let's find out. This is the X5 S Drive 40i, a luxury midsize SUV. The 2022 X5s are available in three different configurations with starting MSRPs from $61,000 to $83,000. With the highest trim, the M50i, you're gonna get some sweet upgrades, like a V8 523 horsepower motor and a zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds. All the trims are the same for the new 2023 models, but just slightly more expensive. The X5 got an 8.3 out of 10 from three of the main rating companies. Now let's go check out the exterior. The 2022 X5 has 10 different color options, with this one being the Alpine White. This X5 comes with the black trim. We have an awesome front grille, the really cool M rims, and then we also get the roof spoiler as well. This is a 335 horsepower twin turbo BMW M Power six cylinder engine that gets about 23 miles per gallon and goes zero to 60 in about 5.3 seconds. Now the M50i configuration takes about 1.2 seconds off of that zero to 60 time. All right, come check out the interior. All right, on the interior of this thing, we have this nice black leather, and then we get this aluminum mesh trim. We have a big multimedia screen here. We get a $600 crystal gear shifter option. We have all of our different drive modes. We get a cool little center console that you click this button, opens right up. All right, now let's go check out the back seat. All right, in the back seat, we actually have some cool stuff back here. On the back of these seats, we get the USB-C ports, and we have all of our climate controls down here. And on the pillars for the back seat, we got these little vents for, of course, AC or heating, which you can also control back here yourself. And also another thing that I really like back here is just this view of this awesome panoramic roof. All right, now coming to the back of the car where we have the trunk, there is a feature where you can wave your foot under it to open the trunk, but you can also just click the button. It will open up the top half. Then we have another button down here that we click, open up the bottom half. And I like how this comes out because it makes it easier for people to load and unload things. And then if you want to close everything at once, you just come up here, click this button, it all shuts at once. All right, now let's go drive this thing. All right, now actually getting this thing on the road, the first word I can use to describe this thing is just responsive all around. Between the tech, the way it feels, the acceleration, the braking, it definitely feels luxurious, but it also has that sport car feel at the same time. When you put it into sport mode, it gives you a few different options. You have the standard sport mode, then you have the plus. Once it got going, I mean, this thing really took off. All right, so what will this car cost you? Now there are some X5s for sale that are still new, but most of them are used at this point. With only being a year old, most of these will be above the starting MSRP of the S-Drive 40i, which is about $61,000. Let's say you can get the S-Drive 40i right now, slightly used for around 61. Using the standard 72 month loan and 10% down payment, your payment would be around $1,030 a month if you financed it. Now keep in mind the interest rate on your loan is probably gonna be higher because it is used an average insurance rate for this car of $175 a month. And with 23 miles per gallon, gas and maintenance will cost you around $300 monthly. But that's quite high because first of all, it's a BMW and second, it takes premium gas. So the total cost of owning this base X5 would be $1,505 monthly. If you put 20% of your income towards these car costs, you would need to make around $90,300 a year after taxes to afford this. Ideally, you use 15% of your income, and in this case, you need to make about $120,400 after taxes. Quite a bit. Now you can get the best trim level, which is the M50i for around the starting MSRP of 83 grand, but this is only used. It would be rare to find a new M50 on the lot for under 83, just because of all the packages that come on dealer cars. Anyways, the total cost for this option would be around $1,875 monthly. By using 20% of your income, you would make $112,500 a year after taxes, but using 15% of your income, this number jumps to $150,000 a year. As always, these numbers, especially insurance, gas, and maintenance, will vary greatly, and the amount you need to make to afford it will change. These are just averages. All right, now what about the safety, the reliability, and the depreciation? Well, if you go into buying this vehicle expecting that you're gonna get a reliable, long-lasting vehicle that's gonna hold its value really well over time, you're probably gonna have a bad time. 
However, the 2022 X5 is an IIHS top safety pick, but only for the models with certain headlights. But the main selling point of this car is not supposed to be the depreciation, reliability, or even the safety. With this car, it's the cool factor. It's a great looking vehicle, it's sporty, it's fast, and it has a lot of cool features that you can get on it. And that is what makes the X5 really shine. Okay, so overall, I do have to say I like it. I think for what you get, it could be slightly overpriced, but I mean, the quality of the interior and the exterior and the features you get, I think it's really cool. I would probably give this exact model about a 7.5 out of 10 for the Dalton score. And then I would give like a base X5, a 7.3 out of 10 for the Dalton score. This one just being a little bit higher because you get some cooler stuff in here. And also I like this vehicle because it can be used for a single person that wants a fun SUV or it can be used for a family. Now that you have all this information, it's up to you to decide whether you should buy it or not.